the Sunday events, we would race these Enduros, which is basically a street car, bring it out, um, and they'd race for a trophy. From one of the Enduro races, these guys wanted a race. We couldn't have an Enduro race every week, so we started a new division. And we even debated what to call it. We didn't know what, you know, we didn't really know what to call it. We were thinking of pure stock, and of course we're, you know, looking at other racetracks to see what they call their third division, if you will. Uh, street stocks or whatever, so we just we settled on something a little, little more perky maybe by calling them strictly stocks. We had a meeting and said, all right, this is what it's going to be, and this is what the inspection is going to be, and uh, you can't use some Japanese tires, and you can't do this, and you can't do that. It was strictly stock. It was, I mean, you, there was no change in bolts in the control arms, street tires, uh, no spring changes, no, uh, you didn't even have a full cage. Just the center section, and you had to run the inner fender wells. I mean, door skins, everything had to be there. We ran with it, and little by little, each week we had more cars, and it became a, a nice division. A yeah, good we division. started with four. Wow. Yeah, we started with four the first week. Looking for their first ever green flag. Anticipating what should be their first race for history. I think the first car that was out there was Brett Cannon. Four cars showed up the first night. We all could have died. What do you do with four race cars? But it was kind of fun, and, and we were able to show the fans what they were going to be like. Every week you get, it seemed like every week to be a few more, a few more, a few more. It was amazing to see that division evolve. It was interesting. There was 40 cars, 45 cars. Guys were showing up with six-cylinder Novas and everything that ran they'd put on the track. And uh, you had to earn your way into the race. Those, you know, in the early days, first couple of years was particularly crowded. <laughs> My good buddy Bruce Adams won the championship that year. Back then he had that 69, it was an old 70 Monte Carlo, we ran a Kelly Supercharger tire, but he'd win all the time. His father raced modified, so he had an upper hand, you know. He was a hot charge and Kenny, we had some good battles. He was awesome to watch, like you said, uh, you know, starting deep every week, 15 laps, you know. He got to the front, got the job done. He was a little rougher than I was, but, you know, he won some races. Steve is a smart guy. He knew how to set a car up. If he got that car right, he was good. Bobby Bruce working down low. He's got the short way around the one-third mile oval. Aldridge at the disadvantage, he's working the long route around the one-third mile oval. White flag already being displayed to the field. Out of turn number four for the final time. One of the drivers looking for win number two. Final time out of turn number four, Larry Barnett looking for his first feature victory in 1991 with a sponsor wanted Monte Carlo. They were the first division that really utilize the pits on the other side, right? That's right, because obviously with the late models and the mods in the, in the main pit area, uh, we had no room. They pretty much had to have more pit area because there was no way they're going to get them in that small pit area that we were using. Yeah, of course, you know, they then, then once they started to get, you know, relevant, you know, the division, they started to complain, hey, when are you going to pay our pits and big rocks and everything else? It's like, you know, well, we'll stop paying your purse money, then we'll save that money every week and pay, you know, pay your pits, right? You'd leave on a Saturday night and everybody would have twisted ankles because I don't even, the, the rocks were huge in the pits. They came to us and said, 
we're a real division now. You know, we're putting people in the stand. So, you know, back to purses, you know, you need to pay us more. We're driving through the dirt. You know, they're taking pride in their strictly stock. You know, the rule book was strictly stock. You know, and of right. course, everybody bends the rules. And, um, but, yeah, and to their great division. And to their credit, they were right. You know, the lights back there were really bad. You know, the guys brought their own lights and stuff. It was, it was not a good situation, but we, you know, they, they kept at it and, you know, they, they supported the division all those years, which was great.